From the Rockies to the coast, it's Fresh Hop, a Great Divide Brewing Company. Hello everybody, welcome back, it's The Beer's Gone Bad. It's where the beer flows like wine. Let's do this. Are you recording? Oh yeah, we're drinking the Fresh Hop Pale Ale. By a great divide brewing company. I was just doing a little reading. Out of Denver, Colorado. Denver. Um, yeah, it's a it's a, it's a fresh hop <laughs> beer. So, jeez. All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> they uh, they get their hops from the Pacific Northwest. Ship them overnight. Get their brew done. Bottle it. Boom. Fresh hop meaning. Meaning that they're not from hop pellets. It's the actual bud. That straight comes. from being picked. Yep. Within like a twenty four hour. Yep. Straight into it's the brewing process. In, yeah. Exactly. I'm kind of excited. I think. The fresh hop is really good for aroma. Oh, okay. That's like a really big thing with fresh hop beers. This little guy, 849 on the price scale, is coming in at a 55 IBU, so right in the middle. IBUs are the international bittering units. Anything, it's like between, yes. anything higher than like 50 is starting to get crazy, like crazy hop aroma, like really pine tree, you know, pine kind of scents. Yeah, this one's nothing crazy too. It's, it, it, it's like 6.1% or something like that. So yes. Yeah. This is only the second um, fresh hop beer that we've had. Grassy pale ale. Well, let's crack it and see what happens. Nice head, good pour. Awesome aroma. Ooh, this one really good, right? Oh. Mm. The color's really nice though. It's got a really nice golden color to it. Out of one out of ten, one Bud Light, ten Mr. Rasputin. This guy's gonna come in at about a two and a half for me. It's it's clear, it's got a nice gold color though. Yeah, I'll, good give, thing. It, I'll give it a two. Yeah. I'm gonna try this thing. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. I like these glasses. Super mild. Yeah. Really mild. I didn't think I was going to come by it. There's no bite at all. I mean, there's like a very slight bite to it, but no, I thought I was going to come across it. You can say like... there's none. That's all right. I'm no, because there is though. I mean, when you drink it, it's pretty, dude. It's pretty. For the, the smell, the aroma, what you think you're about to get into, there's. It's really drinkable though. I, you know, it's, it's easy to drink. It almost tastes a little flat to me. Suggested food pairings grilled trout, grilled bratwurst, garlic, and ginger, sweet potatoes. Is that like, crazy cheese on there? On the website, it had some crazy French cheese. Epoesis. There it is. It's kind of mild though. It's really mild. It's an awesome beer. Like if you're at a bar and you're drinking and someone gets a picture of it, you'd be like, yeah, cool, great. And it smells really, really killer, but I think it's almost misleading. It's cool to have a beer with a great aroma, but unless it's going to back it up with crazy taste. You know what this tastes like? What? I bought a growler of Ruination, Stone's Ruination. And after about the sixth day of it being in that growler, <laughs> this is what it tasted like. It still had that hop, like I get it, like it's pale ale, but it had like the carbonation and the flavor had kind of like leaked out a little bit and it tasted like this. You know what? Maybe I'm being a little harsh on it because it's it's, it's a good beer, it's a drinkable beer, but... I don't think it is. I don't like this. I'm kind of <laughs> bummed on it, to be honest with you. Like it's really mellow, it just tastes flat to me. It is really flat. It tastes flat. It's tasting flat. I know that looks weird because you're like, wow, look at all the bubbles in the glass. Look at all the foam. And the smell's gone away now, too. Denver. I know. Not a fan. Don't like it. Four. Yeah, it gets a, it gets a four, because I, I, I kind of see where you're trying to go with it. It just came across really flat, and... I missed the mark a little bit. Not very exciting. A little boring. What? Thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for Next. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the Beers Gone Bad. And... Sorry. Where it is, dude. <laughs> yeah. Can't, can't be first off, though. When the beer's gone bad, I'm Pat Tijan. I'm Scott Van Book. Until next time, find some hobby stuff and let us know. Good night. <laughs>